school resource officers. They stood shoulder to shoulder with Guam police, safeguarding George Washington High School students and staff in the wake of recent violent threats made toward the campus in October. But who exactly are these SROs and what is their duty in ensuring the safety of students? These folks are obviously uh, have background in law enforcement, they are trained, and so he wanted to be basically utilize them, even though their primary focus was attendance, uh, because they were uniform and they do have some equipment that's issued to them, the idea was to also have them assist with addressing you know, fights, riots, uh, any kind of threat. Christopher Anderson, Student Support Administrator for GDOE, says SROs are specifically tasked to address truancy. He adds their role has later evolved under former GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez. And though SROs are unarmed with guns, these officers are equipped with batons, pepper spray, and handcuffs. Obviously, they have to go through training in order to be able to have them and to be able to utilize them. And so they're trained. When they become special deputy marshals, they get a, a complement of training for that. And then every two years, they have to go through recertification on uh, the use of their equipment. He says they also undergo training in de-escalation through the Safe Crisis Management Program alongside the rest of GDOE. The training is broken into two parts. First, how to identify when students are emotional and how to redirect harmful behavior. The second part is what to do when students can no longer be redirected and how to restrain safely. The idea is to not ignore, um, you know, different signs or behaviors that students give you that indicate that, you know, things could escalate into some kind of violent altercation. So uh, de-escalation is very important. Meantime, Anderson says GDOE is cleared to have 10 school resource officers. The agency so far has six SROs to cover district-wide. Right now it's like a basically a one to seven to eight uh, school ratio, so it's, it's pretty extensive. We're trying to quickly recruit them and get more folks on so we can reduce that ratio. But he admits even if they fill the four vacancies, SROs focus more on truancy cases. That's why GDOE is in the planning stages to potentially create a new position to address school violence. We have had discussions in the past about the use of uh, the uh, community police reserve uh, program to have perhaps maybe those officers come in and serve their uh, CVPR uh, hour requirements. I think it's like 40 hours per, per month that they have to serve in order to maintain that, uh, that status. Uh, to perhaps have them come in and work in our schools as SROs, but they're actual, you know, Guam Police Department officers. And whatever the outcome, the goal is for GDOE to maintain safety at all campuses so that students and teachers can focus on learning.